Here I'm going to show you how to initialize newly connected IP cameras. I've got two IP cameras still in the box, connected via a PoE switch to my PoE switch. This NVR, while it has PoE switches, I'm only using the LAN port out back into my switch. This yellow cable goes back to my router. It's important you have a router on this network because here's what you need to do first. Before you do any of this, go to network and make sure you have an IP address on the network that actually is conforming to your network. So you wanna first enable DHCP here for the DNS. If you don't enable this and the DNS settings are not what your router requires, it won't work. Under here, you need to enable DHCP as well. So your IP address for the NVR, it's automatically assigned by your router to the NVR. So these are all internal IPs and internal DHCPs. And then once you're done, hit basically apply. And once that's done, your NVR will basically be connected. So then when I exit out and I go back inside, it tells me my IP address is 1.31, my gateway, and the DNS, it will automatically be picking it up. So once you have that, you go right click and go to main menu. Go to camera on the bottom left. So now I'm gonna clear this up. Now under this connection list, you can see it found that I have two cameras that are X'd out. So these are uninitialized cameras. So if you go under the not initialized tab, you can actually select all if you wanted. I really don't wanna to do too many cameras at a time just so that I can see them all in here and make sure they're all getting done properly. So there's about six lines here. So you can add, I guess, six cameras at a time. I'm going to show you how to initialize two cameras at a time. So I'm gonna select all, and then I'm going to hit the word initialize on the top. So what does initialize do? It sets actually the username and password on the cameras, and then lets you also set IP addresses on the cameras. Use local password and email. What that means is it's gonna use the admin, username and password, and the recovery email that's stored inside your NVR, and it's gonna propagate those settings into the cameras to initialize them. This is all a security step that's been implemented in our cameras to prevent them from being hacked. So now it says, select the device quantity, which is two, which is automatically picked up, and says, do you want to set IP addresses? So in this case, my network is a 192.168.1.1 network. I'm going to set them to 109 and on onwards, because my NVR is usually 108, but anyway, I decided I'm going to start from this block of IP and incrementally assign them by an incremental value of 1. So basically, first one's 109, the next one's 110. Hit next. And it will take a few seconds. It says initialize in progress. If everything goes well, you'll get this message saying succeeded initialization. Then modify IP succeeded as well. Press OK. Now, those cameras, all this is old information, go back into the all, hit search device. So now I'm looking for 109 and 110. 110 is right here, and 109 is right here. Now if I click this and add, it will get added below. And then I'm gonna click the 110 and add, it will get added below. So go back here, you see there are two green dots now happening for them. That means they got connected. There you go. The two cameras are right there. Hopefully this video explains to you how easy it is to initialize cameras on a FUVA network that has a router on them and uh, to also assign IP addresses to them by using the NVR. Thank you for watching.